Hey guys, welcome to Monday Move where we enhance our asana. So these few videos are going to be um, more focused on standing balances. So last week we worked with the classic tree pose. Today we will hit the, um, the eagle pose. So let's come on to our mats. The easiest way I describe eagle poses, like a chair pose um, with your legs crossed. All right, so if we come to our feet hip distance apart and we, you know, just hands on your hips, come into a chair pose. So butt back, you can see your toes in front of your knees. The deeper you can come in to your squat, the easier it'll be to get your leg fully crossed over. So let's start with the right leg. You're going to pull the right knee in towards your chest, cross it over. And this may be where you end your eagle pose or you can finish wrapping your toes around your shin, either way. If you're still working with balance, one thing you can do is place some books or a yoga block underneath your right toes for a little bit of balance, and then we can bring in the arms. So the arms come out to T with an inhale, and as you exhale, the right arm comes underneath left. You can give yourself a big bear hug, or the back of hands can come together, or you can finish the wrap by taking the palms together. Now we're not done yet. So from here, keeping your core engaged, navel to spine, hips leaning back. On an inhale, begin to lift your elbows and look forward. Hips down and back, elbows up and forward. And inhale, slowly release. Some of the things to remember, Nice, firm, wide foot. You want to feel an equal disbursement of weight in your standing foot. When you begin to cross, make sure you're firing through your glute muscle. So if I'm now working on my left leg, my left knee comes in before I cross, I make sure my left hip, my left butt is nice and strong to keep me stabilized as I cross my legs. Now I'm squeezing my thighs together. I'm not just laying my left leg on top of my right. I'm squeezing them together, and then I'm squeezing my shins together, whether I'm hooking my shin or my toes around the back of my calf muscle or not. So I'm squeezing my thighs together. I'm not just letting this foot hang. I'm pressing that foot in towards my shin and maybe possibly finishing the hook. So that's gonna keep your base nice and strong. Hips down and back. Core in is going to help stabilize the rest of your body as you take your arms out to T. Left arm under right, bear hug. Back of hands together or palms together. Hips down and back, navel to spine, elbows out and up. Ooh, one twisting. <laughs> Strong hips. And you release with an inhale. So one side can be more difficult than the other, depending on the strength and tightness of your hips. As you saw in that one, I started to twist in towards my cross. So I need to be stronger in my left hip. I need to keep continue pulling my left hip back to keep my hip square to the front, front edge of my mat that I'm facing, all right? So it's not only hugging the legs, it's that cross-legged hip that needs to stay strong and pulled back to keep you facing forward. And again, we don't want an overarching back bend, so we want to keep the navel into our spine. And as we lift the elbows, it's through an upper back engagement, kind of think the bottom of your shoulder blades forward in towards your chest to bring that lift of the elbows and the stretch through the upper back that we're looking for. So let's go through it one more time. Feet hip distance apart. Let's bend into our knees. I'm going to do my left side again because that's my tougher side. I'm going to bring my left knee in. I'm going to cross and squeeze my thighs together, focusing on keeping my left hip pulled back. And I'm going to squeeze my shins together, hook my toes. Outer hips in, left hip back, arms out to T. Sit back a little bit deeper, left arm under right, and then bear hug or wrap the arms. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. 
then as you inhale, you open up and relax. All right, so that's eagle pose. It's a tough balance pose because with the cross legs, like I said, you get that spiraling action. So that really works with that cross-legged hip pulling back, squeezing the legs together, and as you lift the chest, keeping your core involved. All right? Well, go out, try it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and let me know how it goes. If you want to see more of me, if you want to practice more with me, I do have a Facebook Live class every Thursday morning that you can join in. It's quick 30 minutes, so it's not a full practice, but it's nice to get you moving in the morning. So enjoy, and I will be back next Monday with some more Monday Move. Namaste.